Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, dissociate work planning. Okay, so let's let's do it. So first, create a project. And so in this floor plan, uh, let's create a model in place. So I'm going to use generic model and OK, OK. So now let's create an extrusion. So you will notice that um, there's a work plan. So this is where this extrusion start. OK, so which is a ground floor. So you can also use a set work plan. So you can set to different work levels or um, reference reference plans or or face wall uh, face of walls. So any plan that is flat. So you can use that as your uh, work plan. So let's just start it with ground floor. So I'm draw I'm going to draw a box here and then. Let's just make it maybe two meter high and finish. So now if I, if you go to 3D view, you will see this is a box. OK, so um, let's finish this model. So now in the floor plan, so you can move it wherever you like. OK, so but in the floor plan or in the elevation, you won't be able to move it up or down. You can change the shape. You can change the shape to uh, make it uh, looks like it move up or down, but you can't uh, directly move it up or down. You can you can you cannot copy it up or down. You can only copy it uh, horizontally. Okay. So now, if you go edit in place, select this extrusion. And you will see this little um, uh, what's that shape? Uh, diamond shape, or yeah, and with a little lock. You just if you click on it, so it says dissociate a work plan. So if you click on it, so now you will see this work plan of this uh, extrusion becomes not associated. So which means now you can move it up and down wherever you like. You can also copy it up or down, array up or down. OK, so it, you will see the end and the start will not change. So if we change this to two meter, it will only change the shape. OK, so it's zero uh, means nothing because there's no level for no work plan for this uh, to tell where it should be. So this is sometimes this is useful because you don't uh, you know you don't really care where this box is start from so you just want to have a few maybe different box somewhere in your model and that's totally fine but just be careful because uh, sometimes uh, if you model something so for example if I need something I need to I, I, I um, if I need this model from exactly from the ground floor it's better to have this uh, family. So pick so you can you can set this back to this ground floor by just select this extrusion, edit work plan, pick a plan, OK, and pick uh, the level. So whichever you like. So for example, I'll pick the ground floor. It will start from ground floor zero offset to uh, end at ground floor two meter. OK, so then finish. So let's do another one. So this one, so edit. So you will see this is also from 0 to 2. But if I edit work plan, pick a plan. So if I pick level 1, it will come down to level 1. OK, and also this one. So for example, still 0 to 2. So you can also pick a plan. Let's say pick this pair. So it will go to top. Uh, of this okay so now this one if I change this one it will also affect that one because of the work plan okay and then of course if you change the level height you will affect these two because this the work plan of this is this level and the work plan of this is this model okay so um, 
yeah, that's I think that's that's it. So and then once again, if you don't want this one to follow, so for example, if you accidentally set this work plan onto this model and then later on you find, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't want this, because every time you change this shape, this one, you move this one. So maybe you should um, just edit in place and you can ch either change this to uh, other level or uh, maybe you don't want it to move at all, you can just click this and that's it so finish and then it won't affect so you can move this level you can change the shape it won't affect this um, okay so and also uh, I'll quickly show you uh, there's another so so oh, sorry this this one's not linked edit in place select this one ah Oh, looks like it's linked. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh? What happened? I can't move. But I did move it up. Anyway. Yeah. I can't move it up or down. But if I um, CC, if I copy it and and just see, you still can't move or copy it up or down. But if you press Shift, you will be able to move, uh, copy it up. Okay, so for example, I'll copy it to here. But I think this is quite a bit confusing because uh, I've, I just found that um, if you select this one, it looks fine. So it looks fine. It looks like it's um, it's it's not linked to anything. But if you edit in place. It will go back to this level, so previous level. So it's better just to do this on, um, not, not on, sorry, the associate work plan, and then you will be able to just move it up. Okay, and also um, try to find some reference plans if 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 you um, if you have. So for example, if I want. To, to this one so stay at there so you can also use so a different method so for example you can use a set work plan to this and then just change the end and start so it always uh, link to something okay and you can also use reference plans so for example if you don't want to change the the offset or oh, sorry not offset the extrusion end and start you want to keep the zero and the two you can also use so for example you can use reference plan something you can do something like this so i'll just do draw a, a reference plan with this some dimension there and then you can edit in place pick plan and use this reference um, plan as a, a tool uh, it looks like uh, it's on the other dire uh, direction. That's fine. Finish, finish it. So you can use this as a reference plan as a tool. You can use type, even create some dimension or even a global parameter to control it. And for this direction, you can do this. So if you want to move this to the other direction, you can drag this uh, reference plan to the other side see it will go to the up and then yeah just probably just move it back here okay so yeah i think that's about it that yeah that's a lot of uh, i think that's a lot of um, topic uh, about all the word plans because it take a while to fully understand how it works so don't uh, don't worry just practice okay so that's that's it uh, let's just once again the associate work plan thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye